dear students in the first lecture we studied about the basic concept of three dimensional geometry now let us look uh, further uh, in this reference we have already studied ki, uh, what is the cosine direction ratios and direction cosine and now today we will uh, we will do some problems based on how to apply these formulas in the numerical problem so let us look one example uh, which is given here if a line makes 90 degree 135 degree and 45 degree with the x y z axis respectively then what is its direction cosine so the basic is ki you have to go through uh, the uh, formula and at least you should try to remember sin 30 cos cosine 30 sin 45 and all the tabulated values in the uh, form of um, sin and cosine and tangent and cotangent that is very much required for uh, this uh, geometry so now we know that the uh, direction cosines of uh, the lines are l m and n l is cosine 90 degree it is given that is zero m is cosine 135 degree you can use the formula pi minus theta cosine pi minus theta is minus cosine theta then minus cosine 45 degree which is minus 1 by root 2 and n is equal to cosine 45 degree that is 1 by root in this way you have calculated all the required values in the second problem if a line had direction ratios minus 18 12 and minus 4 then what are its direction cosines so for that purpose we have already uh, discussed and we have seen uh, the formula and formula is already given that uh, um, l is equal to a by under root a square plus b square plus c square and uh, uh, if you put here the values then this is minus 18 by minus 18 square plus 12 square plus minus 4 square you should write this negative in uh, the in bracket itself and then you will get uh, this square root of this term is 22 okay so minus 18 by 22 is minus 9 by 11 so it is very easy to see to, for everyone ki m is equal to b by the uh, this uh, denominator is the same quantity then only you can change the numerator numerator uh, will be here uh, uh, 12 by and then 22 means 6 by 11 similarly here uh, c by under root a square plus b square plus c square so it is minus 4 by 22 means minus 2 by 11 so in this way you have calculated l m and n which are the direction cosines now uh, similarly you can do this problem and uh, now we have to study the equation of a line in space so we have studied equation of line in 2d we shall now study the vector and cartesian equation of a line in space a line as we know is uniquely determined if it passes through a given point and has given direction or in other words we can say it passes through two given points it means if a line passes through two given points you can see here if the points are already we can take the points the here um, you may write ki this uh, vector a um, b the position vector vector a may be the, this vector a is the position vector of the origin point a with respect to the origin o of the rectangular coordinate system let is small this l is the line be the line which passes through the point a and b uh, a and p a and its parallel to a uh, given vector b if the and this line has the parallel to the given vector b then let vector r this vector r is be the position vector of any arbitrary point uh, p on the line uh, which is clear here a and p are both the points on this line l then ap is parallel to the vector b that is also true ki this line this ap is parallel to vector b and um, we may write ki this ap is nothing but lambda times vector b where a lambda is some real number so now with the vector i think it is easy to write uh, and on simplification you will find this equation vector r is equal to vector a plus lambda times vector b so this is the equation of line through a given point and parallel to a given vector and similarly in all the form you can you know uh, ki line in space to determine a line l we need a point p on l the, here you may assume x1 y1 z1 and a direction vector that is abc 
then x is equal to x1 at uh, y is equal to y1 bt and z is equal to z1 plus ct this is called the parametric equation if a b and c are non zero we can eliminate parameters uh, t here and to obtain the following symmetric equation x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equal to z minus z1 by c. Similarly in other words the same thing you can write like this and uh, in a short equation of a line space we have already written this. So here you can see all the three forms. Kabhi kabhi confusion hoti hai aapko ki line ka aap alag alag equations samajhte hain but that is already the equation of line in all uh, in different forms. Here, here you know ki this is the line in space here a maybe any point any point means x1 y1 z1 okay and that is p is fixed point that is x y z. So x y z vector form already we have seen ki r is equal to vector a plus b times vector t b times t or we can uh, uh, jo, uh, position vector you can write like this ki x1 y1 z1 plus t times a b c. Now the parametric equation you have seen and now Cartesian equation also we have seen. So this is the line in space.